Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never rest. Ah, good morning, everybody. It's uh, cloudy overcast day today. I'm back to long sleeves again. It may rain, I don't know. Alright, now well, this is still looking good. When I take it out the bush and it just gets a bit scratched and gets a bit of oxidisation on it, it'll fit right in. Anyway, um, we're going to mount the solar panel t today and we're going to do it totally different from the way I've done it before. Uh, what I've done is I've levelled this. Alright. I put a, a level across it and uh, I noticed, you can see I've got two green nylon spacers on that side over there. Um, I mean this is cut and welded steel. This is a complete welded structure. Um, how they got that one probably oh, five millimeters out of uh, whack has got got me beat but it was. Um, so I picked that up, leveled it and now there should be no stress on the solar panel at all. Absolutely none. Uh, what we're going to do to fit them is I got now this is a caravan mounting system okay you can order these online you can find them on eBay, Amazon, AliExpress um, and they're meant to go here like this okay all right one on each side and what that will allow me to do is quick change panels so if I get sent panels for testing which does happen um, I can just quickly quick change them, position them where I want them and plug them into me inlet there and easy. Alright, I've levelled this side out a bit. It's just a little smidgen of a gap under the middle one. That's pretty good. <coughs> and this side here looks like it's a hundred percent spot on. <coughs> so we're right to put the solar panel on now. Um, this should make it real easy if I damage the solar panel just to change one out. Um, I just have to get door level first. Alright, so we got the solar panel mounted. Now, I was thinking of just putting a, a screw straight through there. But, for the sake of the testing, I'm going to leave it as it is. And if they, if I lose the solar panel, um, then we'll know to put a screw in there. But I have to test it. Now I've got this, I've shaken it, I've pushed it, I've pulled it. All right, um, I've hammered it, it's not moving, all right, these have got little teeth on them, okay, uh, at the top they've got little teeth on them that grab into the panel, and as you can see, if this works, I mean, this is the widest solar panel I can put on here, all right. Okay, but I can put longer ones on here. And the reason I've left, I've moved it forward is because um, when the sun gets around a bit and when we got the annex up, the annex sort of comes over here like this, okay? So I have to move this forward. I wouldn't want a longer one than that. I mean that, there's the original bolt marks. That's where they prefer them mounted, right there. Okay, I'm not far behind that. Um, 
so I'm pretty sure I'm within tolerances there and it is flat on to any facing winds so yeah I think we should be right people I think we should be right time will tell okay now Alzi, Alzi me old mate I'm gonna show you Siggy's uh, kitchen because this is basically what this is and you wanted to have a look inside so let's have a look mate I'll just put the camera down Aussie. and open it up for you me old mate this is Siggy's kitchen okay camp kitchen it's got really big slide out drawers for bits and pieces it's not fully stocked yet um, this down here is our pantry these bins she's got two power points there the uh, remote for the two kilowatt inverter is there up here she can reach the switches I'll just make sure that taps turned off for the pumps the different pumps all right the outside pump uh, is this one this is the kitchen pump here that's the hot water pump um, and this is one of the little lights we got four of these I'll show you where they plug into when I get to the other side but this is basically our pantry um, these just slide out and there's 26 litres of storage in each one of those down the side there where these battery charger leads are um, there's the uh, a fry pan up there's pots and pans uh, plates sauces uh, cups both plastic ones and two there should be two um, nice crockery ones up there for drinking coffee the plastic ones are for drinking cool drink um, this is a toaster made in Japan it's a very very good one they're not cheap okay two burner gas stove a sandwich to press okay um, on this side of course there's a hot water system and here's the annex walls or the wing awning walls for the ostrich wing awning a 240 volt air compressor and other sundries these are the steps for the electric rooftop tent we just plug it in push a button and it puts itself up and also here we have a small inverter in here which runs the electric blanket for those cold nights it also runs the fan for the hot nights and then we have a complete system here for different lights and whatnot okay all right that's the main water tank it's 60 litres and we cart seven uh, 22 litre water drums with us when we go out in the desert so that gives us a lot of water oh at the back there is the electrics system all the fusing everything like that and the batteries are down below uh, here we have a 40 litre ingle fridge we use this one as a fridge we set that to, uh, to 3 degrees Celsius the freezer we set to 12 degrees minus 12 degrees this one we use as a freezer um, and of course this wing awning up here opens up and gives us some mass this is a huge wing awning okay it's a it's an ostrich wing awning and gives us a massive enclosed area if we put all the panels up and it's basically a lounge room dining room um, kitchen uh, and that's it mate that's a quick look at the trailer all right and there's the gas bottle we take two gas bottles with us all right let's get to the solar panel now the solar panel is well and truly in the shade all right so what we're going to see is plenty of um, volts but no power no amps okay and if we look here we've got 17 volts 
uh, 0.2 amps which converts to 13.31 volts 0.20 amps or 30 there we go look it all just went up again all right it's pretty simple it all works yeah and we're currently putting two watts into the batteries there you go and that big solar panel we just put up there will keep up with all the power this is where the lights all plug into they're all on dimmable switches um, and that big black and big red lead uh, they go outside to my winch connection uh, for when I plug the winch into the back of the camper if I need to pull myself out backwards uh, camper and ute complete all right people uh, I hope you enjoyed that end bit Alzi um, and we're done this is the end of the series for the hot water uh, I will update it on how it goes when we're out camping out bush and I will do other videos if anything goes wrong all right keep safe everyone bye for now